Hey y'all, welcome to the Rob Squad's Home Theater. Thanks for tuning in for another flick with us. If you're new here, let us introduce ourselves. You're here with your girl Amber. And your boy Jay. Guys, and today we have a movie that I've been wanting to get to for a while. I love Sylvester Stallone. Obviously, yeah. we started out with him in the Rocky series. Now, I've heard of Rambo, and I know he was in Rambo. It's just a movie I've never got around to seeing but today is that day. You guys have, you know, obviously suggested it so much. And it's an action movie with some St Sylvester Stallone. I'm all in on it. But before we get to all that good stuff, real quick, y'all help us out by liking the video. It helps continue this channel to grow and pushes us out a little bit more for everybody else. And make sure you hit that subscribe and post notification bell so you don't miss a movie Monday or a film Friday. Rambo is what we got. Like I said, I'm, I'm pumped up for it. I know you're very excited. And I do love Sylvester Stallone. So I'm ready to check it out. It's not necessarily one of those movies that sounds like it's going to be right up my alley, but you guys have surprised us in the past, so I'm ready to watch it. I am too. We're ready to jump right into it. As we always say before we start, grab your favorite drink, your favorite snack, and... Your blanket. And if you need a fidget like I do, because I got a little ADHD, I always got to have one. Some, I always got to have something in my hands to be fidgeting with. It's just a habit. But we're ready to start it. Let's check out some Rambo First Blood. Let's get it. Let's go. for some action back to school though our last one was, was oh my gosh it was hilarious if y'all have not seen the back to school reaction make sure you go check that out rodney danger he's so funny <laughs> it's a mess oh how beautiful, beautiful. could you imagine living there give me that over the city any day Just a little, just some land would be so nice. Y'all know we live in the city. We want land so bad. Just a little bit. Amber wants her chickens. I want a horse. Nothing for some chickens and some goats. And what are Big those? Dog. What are those little cows called? The little fuzzy cows. I can't uh, remember Highland? what they're. Highland? Are you talking about Highland? Highland cow. Oh, I want a little Highland cow. I don't think people would be too fond of us having chickens and roosters in the middle of the city. It's not allowed. Where Delmar Barry lives? He ain't here. Go on inside with him. He's a vet. Look at his outfit. Sure had a hard time finding this place. Well, that's his writing. Like I said, he's a friend. Uh, my name is John Rambo. We served on the same team together in Nam. Vietnam vet. That's uh, Danforth and Westmore, Bronson, Ortega, and there's Delmar right in the back. We had to put him in the back because he's so big. If he didn't, he'd... Delmar's gone. When we... What time will he be back? Oh, died last summer. Died how? Cancer. Brought it back from man. All that orange stuff that spread There's it around. There's a song that we listened to that was talking about that. Cut him down to nothing. Was it something in the orange? Was that the title of it? Dim off the sheep. That's crazy. How, how do you make it? Through war, through Vietnam, because of some of the chemicals that are in that, the air. What do they call? It? They call it like orange crush. They called it, it was something. something. I think the song was maybe Orange Crush. Actually, something the one like I was that. thinking of. That might have been it. He's just on foot. Look at the mountains. Mm -hmm. Morning, Amy. How you doing, girls? All right this morning? Oh, the scenery's beautiful behind them. Oh my gosh, isn't it? So there's, they gotta be there's somewhere northeast. Closest I can't come to see in mountains was in uh, Lawton. <laughs> oh gosh. <laughs> oh, babe. There was lots of mountains there, that's it. Morning. You uh, visiting somebody around here? You know, wearing that flag on that jacket, looking the way you do. You're asking for trouble around here, friend. Why? Headed north or south? Now uh, jump in. I'll make sure you're heading the right direction. Make sure direction. he gets out of town. Mm -hmm. Why would that jacket be asking for trouble? You would think people would be like, oh, that's a vet. Right. <laughs> How is that asking for trouble? Where you headed? Portland. Oh, okay. So, northwest then. You got some place I can eat around here? There's a diner about 30 miles 30 up the miles highway. Up the highway. Is there any law against me getting something here? Yeah, me. I was going to say, why can't he eat there? Why are you pushing me? What did you say? So why are you pushing me? I haven't done anything to you. First of all, you don't ask the questions around here. I, second, we don't want guys like you in this town. Drifters. 
Uh, and you know, we got a whole bunch of guys like you in this town. That's why. Besides, you would there. like it here. It's a quiet little town. In fact, you might say it's boring, but that's the way we like it. And I get paid to keep it that way. This man has done nothing for him to make these. Girl, he's wearing an army jacket. I think that's one of the saddest things about our country is when the war is over. Especially Vietnam. Yes, how I mean, these heroes come back, like what they come back to, deserve a lot more. To be called a drifter? If you want some friendly advice, a haircut and take a bath. You wouldn't get hassled so much. Hope this ride helped you out. That ride ticked me off. Especially for law enforcement to treat a vet like that. Hey, huh? I mean, talk about judging book by its cover, by his jacket, by his hair. And what else? What else did he give him? For him to judge him off. <laughs> He's not gonna walk back. He's walking back to that town. He didn't even wait till he was out of sight to start walking back. He said, nah. <laughs> Where the hell do you think you're going? Hey, I'm talking to you, goddamn. You see some ID. All right, you're under arrest. What? You hear me? Now put your hands on the car. Now you put your hands on the car and you spread. It's an ego trip is what this is. Now you're gonna put your hands on that car. How you do it, you decide right now. Get your legs back. Get them back. Ugh. Oh, no. Dude. Hey, try to be nice to someone. Well, we have here, huh? Why would you be carrying a knife like this? For self-protection. Hunting. What do you hunt with a knife? Damn it. Oh. Thanks, Charlie, buzz us in, will you? Hey, talk about your sorry-looking humanity. It's terrible use of power right here. Carrying a concealed weapon. He says he uses it for hunting. What do you hunt? Elephants? Just see if you can clean them up a little. It smells like an animal. Who? Dang. Thing sharp. Report this young man downstairs, would you? Oh, yes, sir, Mr. Go. Right this way, partner. He was noticing that they were locking up the gun mm -hmm. cabinet, though. That's so trash. No, he literally didn't do nothing, and he's a veteran. That's what makes it even harder to watch. Yeah. Name? Your name? Your name! Oh, no. Flashbacks. Name! He was tied up. He's a prisoner of war. If you're looking for trouble, you came to the right place, buddy. Oh, wait a second. Hey, you got three seconds before I break your face in. He means it. Yeah, I do. Oh! Well, I got a feeling he could whip all them right now. But why just go out of your way to treat somebody like this? Why? And to snatch his dog, dog tags off. What do you know about the old Harry here's the soldier? Rambo. John Jay, you're going to talk to me. I promise you're going to talk to me, so I'm starting it's to like, dislike you. How do you have the nerve to talk to a soldier like that? <sighs> I'm going to run a make on him. Put his name I'll just never understand the mistreatment for guys who fight for us. Push it. It won't work that way. It'll only smear and I'll run across. Look, you son of a bitch. If you don't put your goddamn hand down there, I'm going to break it off. Now put it down, goddammit. What the hell is going on, Daddy? Oh, nothing I can't handle. He won't let us print him well. Leave the ink on the hand. <laughs> and you think we're tough. Now we're going to make you a little bit more presentable courtroom appearance. Between now and then, you can just impress the hell out of me by doing exactly as you're told. Goodness. Now clean him up. All right, Preston. I want you to go over and get that hose ready. All right? Oh, look, he's got scratches oh, on shit. Look at this. What the hell's he been into? Who gives a shit? All right, put your hands on top of your head and turn around. They're not going to spray him down. Gosh, oh. she's tore up all We should report this to Teasel, Galt. Look at that. You just do what I tell you. <gasps> You're kidding me. Well, the man said clean him up. Why are people clean so... Hey, Preston! It's just hard watching. Get to get him behind the ears! Movies like this. Yeah. So it's hard to believe people could really mm -hmm. be this terrible for no good reason. Oh, yeah, what? Huh? Enjoyment, jealousy, what? You like water sports? That other cop, the redhead guy, he ain't feeling it. He's the only one mm -hmm. that's not feeling it. He's like, we should report this. All right, hurry it up. It's time for my coffee break. All right, sit down. Sit down. Are they going to shave his hair? Dang. He was they tortured. Don't, they don't know what he's been through. Boy, it's hard to get a hold of. 
didn't care to ask anything. Don't worry about the soap. He's tough. Just shave him. Dry. Right. <laughs> You're just gonna shave you. Take it easy. Take this man. Come on. He's been through a lot. I don't want you to cut your own throat. Oh, that's why he's got cuts Ooh. on him. <laughs> this is major PTSD. <laughs> Yeah, beat his tail. Yeah, that one no, is not him. not him. Not him. <laughs> not the redhead one. I feel like he's kind of... Oh, he's choked him out. Thank you. <laughs> they unleashed something that they should not have unleashed. <laughs> this man was so calm, cool, and collected, and then they brought something out. Oh, it's on. Oh, get this one. This is the one I really want you to Ego trip. Power trip. It's like, man, this dude escaped imprisonment. Y'all don't think he can get out of here? But especially, this man is experiencing an episode right now. They triggered it and brought him back to what it was like. With that blade, especially. Put him like into like survival instinct. I know. I don't know if you noticed he got his knife on his way out. Yes. Oh, but this man's in mad trouble. He just tore apart every single one of those cops. And they're obviously crooked. Yeah. There's people down there. All right, get help. I'll go after them. Get out of the way. Just gotta get out of there. He don't even know this town. Mm -mm. Best bet, head up to the mountains. Jumped the whole track. Yeah, he dealing with a lot of crooked cops. That's them small town cops, man. My hometown had one of the most crooked sheriffs of them all. So many Ever. articles about this man. There was like Fox News articles and CNN and y'all come to Oklahoma. These small towns here, you want to talk about crooked? Not all of them. I'm just saying it could happen easier in a small town. Remember that one in Ashley? They fired the whole department. Mm -hmm. Because the chief was selling stuff. <laughs> I'm telling y'all. Dang. I told you, head to the mountains. Off road now. I'm really surprised this car is keeping up now that we're on like a more of a trail setting. So much more of an advantage to be on a dirt bike or I was about to say, yeah, he got the right bike. vehicle to get out of there. Lester, this is Will. I'm right on his tail. He's just east of Smith's farm, headed towards Chapman Creek. And the sheriff knows his way around. Mm -hmm. These little roads, you can find shortcuts in the small towns he knows. Uh-oh. Right on him now. <laughs> Oh, yeah, yeah there we go. Her, yep. Dang. <laughs> He's got him stuck. That's a cool gear. little chase scene. Okay, but I'm telling you, on foot, I'm going with Rambo. This man ain't catching up. <laughs> yeah. I know you can hear me! He's, he got away now. I'm finished! You've gone as far as you're gonna go! He's gonna have to find a way to get out of that city. It's cold too, and he's in a sleeveless shirt. Okay. What do you think he's gonna make? Cause right, they're gonna send search party. They're gonna send their men for him. They ain't gonna find him. But he doesn't know the area like they do. Yeah, be on the draw. Let's get Orville on the radio. Tell him to get out of here with his damn dogs right away. See, especially the dogs. It's gonna rain. We'll need dogs that can hunt on sight. Right. Tell Ball to get out to the lumber camp. Tell him to get the helicopter up here. Right. Ooh. Tell him to cite him for obstruction right on the spot. 
Go get him. No problem. Made him something aware. <laughs> It's like he's got to think and then move. Think and move. It's cool. It's just like how to survive. Like, it's the little tricks. What he learned from the army. I was about to say, fighting Vietnam, he probably picked up a few things on survival. What, what is that? Very close. They keep moving because my dog's going to eat and run at the same time. Straight to the top. These guys supposed to be dangerous? It's dumb. Why would he go keep going straight to the top? Whoa, whoa! Hey, whoa, I'm just spoiling the set. Trailing me here. Why? There were three of us on him in the cell block. He went through us like we weren't even there. Right. <laughs> He's saying if we do find him, I don't know if it's going like, to turn out it, right. We may still not have the advantage here. just keeps going he is not no there's no way there's no way because you don't know how shallow that is you see how big of a drop that was they're getting closer we can see him well what is he supposed to do no. i know he's not gonna jump It's like you don't know if you're surviving that jump. Look at all the rocks. Mm. And he is not climbing down before they see oh, him. And they got the helicopter out. Mark, this is Diesel. He's headed for Chapman Gorge. <laughs> oh, he's gonna be way too close to the edge if he falls now. Stay still, don't move. Dang it, dang it, dang it. He's not gonna shoot him. No, he is. What the hell's going on? What are you doing? We're just supposed to spot him. Hold it, Steady. Thermal draft. Stuck there. You can't even place. Right. Buy this thing, right? I swear to God. Uh, this dude should have uh, never been put in a position of power. Son of a bitch! Golf coming, goddammit! Get closer and hold it, Steady. Golf. He's crazy. What's going on? Gosh, dang. He's locked in. Think he's gonna make this jump. Trees broke his fall. I mean, it saved him a little bit. I mean, sure I'm sure hurts, I'm, but... I mean, I'm, yeah, I'm sure the branches don't feel good. He's just mad he got his tail up. Yeah. I'm telling you to get on his radio. What's going on? I don't coming. Dang. What an art. Oh, he gone. Dang. Oh yeah, he gone. Mm. Should have called it. Sure, gonna go get his gun though. Yeah, yep. <laughs> see ya. He did not make it. Oh, he's yeah. he's already like he's not just running off. He's thinking ahead. He's like, I'm gonna take his jacket. Yeah, so they'll lose his scent. Art right, Gulf, come in. Helicopter, come in. God Christ, look. 
Give me the binoculars, sir. Oh, no, no, no. Shh. Yep. They picked the wrong one to have a power trip with. What does he keep? What is this in the end of his knife? I don't know. Oh, Stitch? Oh, he must keep mm -hmm, survival things in the end of his knife. Oh, yeah. Wild. Stitching yourself up mm -hmm. without any numb. Oh. And then, like, in, this, in the video, the way they're making the blood pour out after he stitches is kind of too, way too realistic. Gnarly. It's like he wants to turn himself in. There's one man dead. It's not my fault. I don't want any more hurt. Stand right where you are. Give yourself up. But I didn't do anything. Right. Make a move. I'll blow your head off. I didn't do anything. <laughs> oh. Cease fire. Cease fire. Did they actually hit him? It looked like it got him in the face. This came over the teletype a few minutes ago. John Rambo is a Vietnam vet. Green Beret, Congressional Medal of Honor. Guy's a war hero. Jesus, that freak. I knew there was something about that guy. <laughs> what do you want me to do? You better back off, homie. <laughs> I want you to do what I told you to do, goddammit. Get that chopper back here now. Out. Come on now. And he's a Green Beret, like... Green Beret. You better fall back. Born hero. <laughs> That's great. That's Why don't you just shut your great. mouth? <laughs> <laughs> matter with you guys? He's one man. Wounded. Those Green Berets. They're real badasses. <laughs> <laughs> Look, they said we ain't. Hey, yeah, Tiki, keep us out of it. Look at him! Look at him! It's our the redhead dude from the very get-go has been like, hey, like maybe we should turn this in. Like, in your nose! Now he's dead. He's dead because of that. That ain't Rambo's fault. He's dead. He fell out the co the chopper. Son of a bitch! And I'm gonna pin that Congressional Medal of Honor to his liver. And I'm gonna do it with you or without you. He sounds a little jealous too. Like it makes him feel good to take down somebody who's so big and honorable. First of all, you grab me like that, you may not be making it back, because I may get you for grabbing me like that. We're closing in. The sun's getting stronger. All right, keep your eyes open. Come on, Maggie. It's going to storm. That's all we need now. Yeah, now they're stuck, because the, the helicopter won't come they, back. They've been warning about the weather. Come on, Dan! Hey, 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 knock it off! The fight is out there! He's out there waiting! Get on your feet and move! Redhead guy is odd man out. Did you say his name was mm. Mitch? Mitch. Mitch is on man out. Man. What? Oh, the man with the dogs got hit. He's got a gun. He's got a gun. Green Beret with a gun. He set him up. He made it look like he was a person. And Scarecrow! No Scarecrow, they shot Orville. He's close. He's real close. Kill him! <laughs> Y'all done, done made Orville mad. <laughs> oh! Oh, I don't like the dog whimper. You heard He's that. He's doing what he has to do, but I don't like the dog whimper. It's like one of the worst sounds in the world. Cover it. Look at his leg. Get your, get your belt. Get a tourniquet around that. Gotta get this guy to a doctor. What? They should have went home when they found out who he was. Shit. Where'd you get the gun? That captain, because his ego gonna cause all them dudes to lose their life. Because whatever killed that last dog was no bullet. That's how. Hurry up. Oh, Orville, listen to me. Now listen. Gotta stay awake, all right? Gotta release that tourniquet. This poor man with the dogs is taking the heat. Oh. Gotta get him now. He's out of ammo. You just gotta stay awake. Boy, if you don't get me... To a hospital. Let's go. Go get him. Ah. All right. All right. Now listen up. That man loved those dogs too. Okay. Let's do some hunting. Hunt? We ain't hunting. Him. He's hunting us. <laughs> That's fact. He's hunting y'all. Seems like it. I just feel like the amount of men they have still doesn't eat reach the brain capacity for the task at hand when you have somebody who survived an element's way worse than this. And this is a green beret, like. Yeah. It's like, even though it's one to five or one to six, no matter, one against the whole police department, it don't matter. they does it. It doesn't matter. That training don't equal. I've always heard the saying, like, like one Marine, put one Marine up against, like, three normal people. Then I've heard, like, you put, like, a green beret mm -hmm. up against five or six people, they can handle their own. Some of the two baddest Navy SEALs up there, too.
like this one man has all these guys scared. <laughs> It's like we're in a thriller. Like a monster's about to pop out and eat them all. It's like, what was it, Predator? Remember when they were looking through the woods? One of these jack butts gonna end up shooting, shooting each other. They're gonna hear something panic. Dang, I didn't see him. Oh, I just don't want the redhead guy to get hurt. Well, it's Mitch! Oh, yeah. it's Mitch. But at this point, he doesn't know who he's grabbing. He's just acted out of these, all of them are out to get me. That man made a ghillie suit. And Mitch still, even though he doesn't agree with it, has to go along with what his captain tells him. And he's been going along with it. Mitch! Was up there perched. What the hell's going on? <gasps> oh, did you see him break his arm? Go. Oh. I spread out. It means he's just way. injuring them. He's just injuring them. These I last think. two. Well, oh. Dang. You seen him snap his arm. Well. Oh. Oh. I got him. Shake it. Follow me. I got him. This also let's take into account how fast he got. These people back to back to back. Oh my gosh. He sharpened the <laughs> sticks. Did you see him right in his kneecaps? He had just whittled those. I'm going to say whittle. In his kneecaps. <laughs> no! Rambo. This is taking him out. Bye, 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 bye. Goes hard. Bye, bye. Rambo goes so hard. <sighs> it's not just how smart he is, it's how quickly he's thinking. Tactical. <laughs> Oh, never mind, right in the thighs. <laughs> <laughs> That's a big muscle, major muscles. Right to go in the quad. Oh my gosh. <laughs> okay, are you scared now, El Capitan? Singleton, where the hell are you? Singleton! Singleton! Now they're all just wounded out in the woods. Man, let's get the fuck out of here. <laughs> That's not funny. It's not funny, but dang, this man is. They bit off way more than they can chew. Dang. I could have killed you and telling you the law. Here it's me. Don't push it. Don't push it or I'll give you a war you won't believe. Let it. He said I could have killed all of you. Let it. Take his gun. So he said, stop hunting me or I will. Oh, I won't. This is a warning. He said, this is a warning. You better let it go. I let it go, Rambo. you let it go. Rambo's a bad A, man. This grown man in tears. That's <laughs> a bad A. Like you saw the boogeyman. Ooh. No, nah, but when he got the redhead dude, like that ghillie suit, you would have never seen him there. I would have walked past With him. With those sticks through the thighs. I would have walked past him a hundred times. <laughs> Jordan, you walk past the ketchup in the fridge when you're looking for it. There's no way you would have seen it coming. Oh, I'd have been Godder. Look at the amount of medical that had to come from. So how do they explain this? Yeah, it's a wild man. Get back. The, the man is tough. What still remains unexplained by local authorities is just how and where the former Green Beret came into possession of the weapon with which he allegedly killed one deputy sheriff, tried to kill six others. Only their skill. No, he could have killed six others. He didn't. He could have killed six to. others. He'll be in custody in a matter of hours. No, he won't. A little hard in the guy. Assholes. One goddamn bit of difference, Dave. And you know it. If one of my deputies gets out of line with a prisoner, then the prisoner comes to me with it. And if I find out it's like he says, I kicked the deputy's ass. Me. He started it. People start fucking around with the law and all hell breaks loose. You was messing around with the law, sir. Mm -hmm. Heaven to make a man like Rambo. God didn't make Rambo. I made him. <laughs> Sam Trotman. Colonel Samuel Trump. Yeah, he probably trained him. I commanded him in Vietnam for three years. I'd say that makes him mine. I wonder why the Pentagon sent a full bird colonel down here to handle this. Because you can't do it. Be able to help. <laughs> well, I don't know in he could have done, took your head. Tell you now, he's my problem. I don't think you understand. I didn't come here to rescue Rambo from you. I came here to rescue you from him. <laughs> Dang. We all appreciate your concern, Colonel. 
Dang. We'll try to be extra careful. Dog, I don't know why you're talking big. He could have sliced you. Colonel, you came out here to find out why one of your machines blew a gas. You don't seem to want to accept the fact that you're dealing with an expert in guerrilla warfare. Guerrilla warfare. <laughs> With guns, with knives, with his bare hands. A man who's been trained to ignore pain, ignore weather. It's a weapon. To live off the land, to eat things, and to make a billy goat puke. <laughs> Vietnam, his job was to dispose of enemy personnel. To kill, period. Win by attrition. Well, Rambo was the best. <laughs> he said this man is skilled in every way necessary to make it out here. To kill him a wild hog. And he was like, you ain't messing with this like no amateur. Like, I came to save best. you. I'm not saving him. Mm, get you a ham hock. That was a big hog. A master in guerrilla warfare. You should have known he was a master in, in, in guerrilla warfare. Did you see the way he thought in the spot? Made weapons out of like the sticks, the things that went into the man's thigh. <laughs> How quickly he knew Oh, that's the most... to grab survival things. That one hurts the worst to me. Oh, the stakes through the quad. Oh. Provide a little gap and let him slip through it and put out a nationwide APB. In a couple of weeks, you'll pick him up in Seattle or someplace working in a car wash. There'll be no fight and nobody else will get hurt. I do my own work. I don't figure the best way to do... He said don't fight him on his turf. Mm -hmm. Anything like this is his turf. You want a war you can't win? Are you telling me that 200 men against your boy is a no-win situation for us? You send that many, don't forget one thing. What? A good supply of body bags. Dang, he's got so much confidence in this man. That tells you how bad of a man he must be. I don't know which side you're on, Trout. I still think you came out here just to cover your ass. But if you're serious about taking Rambo out clean, follow me. Move this out of the way. Come on now. I hope he listened. He back. said, "Hey, I'm just, I'm just warning y'all. I'm just letting y'all know. This ain't no average cat you're messing with." Like I thought, I liked him in Rocky. I yeah, like Rambo. Really cool in this one. State police calling John Rambo. Come in, please. Acknowledge. He's got a radio. Maybe you can talk him into sparing all our lives by giving himself up. I can try. At least we'll get a radio fix on his position, if you don't mind setting him up for it. Setting him up for you. It's like bringing the pigeons to the cat. Hey, I'm leading you to the trap if I do that. I may only get one crack at this. Cover leader calling Raven. Come on, Raven. Raven was his name. Cover leader calling Raven. Cover leader to Raven. Talk to me, Johnny. Oh, I don't want him to fall for anything. Rambo, Mesner, Ortega, Coletta, Jorgensen, Danforth, Barry, Krakauer. Confirm. This is Colonel Troutman. Talk to me, Johnny. Look, he's like, what do I do? He's kind of confused now. He looks confused because what he said on the radio was confused. confusing. They're all gone, sir. It's him. Get on it. Rambo, are you all right? Baker team, they're all dead, sir. Not Delmore Barry. He made it. Barry's gone too, sir. Oh no, he's playing off of what Rambo, the situation Rambo remembers with all those men. We'll work this thing out together. Is that fair enough? Where'd you come from, sir? Bragg. I tried to get in touch with you, but the guys at Bragg never knew where to find you. Spending much time there lately. They've got me down Bragg. in D.C. I'm shan- I wonder if it's Fort Bragg. There's Fort Bragg in Oklahoma. Our little army base. Mm. Seems like bailing you out of trouble is gonna be a lifetime job for me. There wouldn't be no trouble except for that king shit cup. All I wanted was something to eat. Man, I kept pushing, sir. Well, you did some pushing of your own, John. They drew first blood, not me. First blood. Let me come in and get you the hell out of there. Rambo, are you still reading me? I'm so glad there's three Rambo movies. Oh, this, <laughs> I love this. Rambo, acknowledge. It's all finished, Colonel. I got a real good fix on him. Come first line, I'm going to put every man I got up on that ridge. Now we'll get him my way. I want you to stretch a skirmish line right across this son of a bitch. God damn it. <laughs> He knows he just set him he'd set him up. Yeah. He knows the type of man they're dealing with. They still with warnings don't understand. Mm -hmm. Let's go. I just got a gun. But even with that many people, I mean if you know if you're a master of guerrilla warfare, you can set one trap and take half of them out. Mm -hmm. And that guy, his the the one who trained him. Knows that he's going to be one step ahead mm -hmm. of these guys. And Rambo said they. He drew, knows they're not equipped. And he said they drew first blood. It's so cool. He's letting all them pull up in there, and he's going to move somewhere else. 
That's just a kid. No, don't it's hurt. It's just a kid. It's just a kid. He's hunting. Wait, hold up. Why is your mama letting you go out hunting when there's a man on the loose in the mountains? Blame your daddy and your mama. What happened, son? Don't you cool down! This way, let's go! Oh, no. Well, I don't think these these hunters are having going to have any better of a time catching him. Don't move in. In fact, don't do anything till I get there. And no shooting. I don't want him dead. I want him alive. They're all shooting. <laughs> Dang. Uh-oh. Keep He's stuck. Come on, guys, shoot! Come on! Did he get all them? Oh, you guys are great. I think they're scared. I want you and Bruce head around these trees, go to the front of that mine. Screw that, Clinton. I ain't going up there. Nope. <laughs> <laughs> hey, pick somebody else. Hey, I'm glad somebody's smart. Raymond, what? I want you to go into that mine. Oh, not me. Perfect <laughs> time. I didn't come here to get killed. No, he's probably in there just waiting for us. What's wrong with you, Clinton? Why he volunteered to yeah, go Clinton, himself. Take your butt up in there. Rambo, this is Lieutenant Clinton Morgan, National Guard leader. Now I'm giving you just three zero seconds to come on out. They don't know what to do with this man. Who's got the rocket launcher? I do. Come here, Earl. Rambo, it's your last chance to come out. <laughs> the cops said, don't fire. He said, I'm going to fire a rocket launcher. Earl, this creep is a killer. Besides, I'm in charge, and I say we blow it up. Now fire that thing. Just let me get out of the way for but they didn't follow the commands that were given about making sure he's alive. <gasps> Dang, that thing has some power. Yeah. Woo! Yeah! Woo! <laughs> Sega! Bolta! He's proud of himself. No, darn well. He they didn't get him. They didn't get him. It's funny how scared they all were. <laughs> he said, nah, not me. You go, you go do that. It's just still crazy. The more people that show up, this is all for one man. For one person. Move in a little closer, Kimo yeah. <laughs> I don't believe it. Idiots. Steady? Got it. All right, Nick, one more for soldiers. <laughs> what are they doing? <gasps> They're so dumb. Get the hell out of here! They said just like Iwo Jima. Did you get the word, Clinton? I told you people to wait until I got up. Well, he was shooting at us, Will. Come on, I wasn't taking any chance. What a mess. Dig his body out of there right away. I mean, you can't get a dozer up here. You're gonna have to find somebody to dig him out. Will, come on, I gotta be back at the drugstore tomorrow. You better get started right away, It's a Clinton. pharmacist. Then. A pharmacist leading the National Guard? Come on. Okay, but where he ran, he took off like farther, deeper into mm -hmm. it. So where, where's he at? And they're going to waste their time digging in there looking for him too. But he's cornered. It's dark. It's cold. He has no ammunition. Thought you said he was the best you ever trained. However, he may have ended up there was a time when he was very special. Special my ass. He was just another drifter that broke the law. I just can't stand him because he's talking mm -hmm. big talk when Rambo could have got him. Mm -hmm. Here lies John Rambo, winner of the Congressional Medal of Honor. Survivor of countless incursions behind enemy lines. Killed for vagrancy in Jerkwater, USA. <laughs> You think Rambo was the only guy who had a tough time in Vietnam? He killed a police officer for Christ's sake. He did not. The police officer fell. So what he's in, would this be like an old mine inside of the mountain? Yeah, I'm guessing okay. so, yeah. Full of all kinds of good advice. How we should let the goddamn maniac go loose so he can save our own ass. Well, we saved our asses, Colonel. And we didn't let him go loose. The best man lost, and he doesn't like it. It's amazing to me the people with like um, survivalist type of skills, mm -hmm. like you know how fast he thinks and knows what to do or in different ways things can be used. It's really, really, really cool. Uh, 
I think he knows that Rainbow's still alive. Mm -hmm. He knows that it could have been that mm -hmm. easy. But now he's got to navigate through all this. I don't know anything about mines. Is it one way in, one way out? I don't know enough about them either. How you doing, Will? Hold my calls. We also had a long day. He's like, what did I get myself into? I should have just let the man have lunch in man. town. That would have been a heck of a lot easier, a lot less messy. You hear that? Yeah. A helicopter outside? Tinker's not too far up the road Tinker. from where we're at, so there's lots right of air there. traffic. He's just getting deeper and deeper mm -hmm. in the water. Ew, the rats. <laughs> They're on his back. <laughs> oh, that just gave me the chills down my spine. They're just crawling all up him. But do you see how many there are? Gosh, there's so many. That's wild. The heck no, get me out of here. Mm. That's a nightmare. The worst scene that gave, still gives me chills is a scene in one of the mummies. Or no, it was Indiana Jones with the snakes. Indiana Jones, Where they yeah. suck with the snakes. Yeah, it was a big Well, they were getting that big box, mm -hmm. Dilly. Oh, miss. Uh, Hi, Sheriff. Sure. Uh, from my friend. Walter. Like if I was out of line, I just want to... He did some thinking. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. None of that makes much difference now, does it? No, I guess not. I suppose... Uh, I don't know, I just feel like you were cheated out of your chance. I wanted to kill that kid. Well, I wanted to kill him so bad I could taste it. Doesn't sit well with that badge. Mm-mm. Huh? In Vietnam, you can bet that Rambo and I got... We had orders. When in doubt, kill. When in doubt, kill. Hey, what about you, Colonel? What did you figure out from all of it? I mean, what would you have done with him if he came in? Would you wrap your arms around him, give him a big sloppy kiss? Or would you have blown his brains out? Probably wouldn't have harassed him. I couldn't answer that until I met him face to face. Well, there it is. It's just as well we never got a chance to find out. He, he just has that look like, you guys really think he's gone. Mm. <laughs> Man's done. Well, yeah, you're right. I keep forgetting the sheriff thinks that like he can breathe, right? Mm -hmm. he, the sheriff thinks he's gone. Which works out in Rambo's benefit right now if they are wasting their time. Mm -hmm. <gasps> he's found a way out. Yes. I cannot believe he found a way out. That's great. Although those stairs look terrible. <gasps> There's people right there. Everywhere. Well, at least he's not stuck in the little mine shaft thing in the mountain anymore because then he could have really been cornered. Don't look at me, look at the road. <laughs> That's an accident, something. Cat cart, Robert A. All right, what do you got in the back, Robert A? Okay, Robert oh, A, please. get out of the truck. I got no beef with you. Go on, move, go on. Hey, yeah, I'll you ain't got to beef with me. That's why you're still here. Yeah, hey, I'll hop out. Take it. You can have it. He didn't hurt him either. Whoa. Uh, SP, car one, Charlie five, 
So now they know he's a, he's allowed to kick in. What's your story, Steamboat? Looks like somebody pulled the plug to that Rambo guy is on the loose again. <laughs> All that peace and quiet <laughs> they was enjoying for nothing. Uh oh. How are they gonna know which one's him? True. Oh gosh. Well, they caught up to him. This guy's got M60 in the back. I thought that's what the guy said. That's what the guy said. <laughs> oh no. Oh no, they're shooting. Yeah, they know which one. He's got that look in his eye. Uh oh. I I feel like he has more advantage out in the woods. Like I'm worried about him oh. on the roof. Oh, whoo. scratch that! Gosh, dog. He knew just what to do. He, he ain't outrunning much in Where's this. he trying to get to? Oh, no. Uh-oh. Oh, no. Uh-oh. Watch out! Dang. Just plowed right through him, didn't he? Straight through. <laughs> and I was like, Rambo goes hard. What is he doing? It's a good question. Oh, that M60. Oh, that's about to he blew blow it the up. whole place up. Explosion was really cool to watch, though. I'm not gonna lie. Fuck! Move! And it's still going. He messed with the wrong one. It's wrong all. It's all because of him. Should have let that man. Just get some eat. Some, That's all he right, wanted. Right. Eat some food. What the hell? Oh, everything's blowing up. It's like a domino effect of everything. Hey, he set a distraction though for him to get out of there. Attention, all civilians. For your own safety, please evacuate the streets immediately. Look at what you caused, Sheriff. See further instructions. I repeat, this is a police emergency. Please evacuate the streets immediately. Like a PA system for the whole town. It's this tiny town. We found Rambo's body. As a matter of fact, it stole an army truck, blew up a gas station the other side of town. Kid is resilient. Why don't you forget what you're thinking and clear out what you can? Out of here, Troutman, and you take your advice with you. Should listen to him. When I talked to you earlier this afternoon, you knew he was still alive, didn't you? Hmm. <laughs> yep. <laughs> I suspect it. <clears throat> sure. Sure, that's why you stuck around. You trained Teasel, you and all your men. What do you think you can handle him now? Right. And he's got that gun. <laughs> Makes it a little bit harder to sneak, though. He dies. There's only one man in this room, but that's not because I'm better than he is. It's because he trusts me. See, I'm the closest thing to the family that he has left, and that may be all the edge. Jesus Christ, where do you people come from? <laughs> now, this is my job, Troutman. This is when I'm not giving it up to you or a ram. He should have taken a seat a long time ago. He's only made it worse. And your town's going down because of you. Like, he's got bodies behind his name because of him. Willis, let's hop you over. Come on. Dang, look what he's 
disgust. We got some serious problems. The highway's been cut off. The truck's out here, but we couldn't find the body. No body. It's totally burned out. Preston, get the- Yeah, he's looking around his shoulder now. What is he up there? I don't know. He's probably just paranoid. Oh gosh, I would be. I'd leave town as the sheriff. Hey, he's the one who ticked him off. I, yeah. He should be looking over his shoulder. This man is on top of the mm -hmm. police station, hiding. Oh, oh, now I'm really scared. He took <laughs> now out I'm for the real scared. electricity. Oh my goodness. This man, strategical. Yeah, tactical. Smart. One step ahead for sure. Oh, look at all the guns and ammo. Yeah, he needed ammo, didn't he? Uh-uh. Is he about to burn it down? Yeah, they, all that gunpowder, that's why he threw the, the oh. ammo down so the gunpowder's all in there. He's making a big pile. Dang. He's not making a pile, he's make, he, he's, it's about to explode. Oh my gosh, Rambo. That's gunpowder. Yeah. Is he gonna shoot it to ignite it? Oh, bye bye to that building. Now the whole town is gonna pay for this? Because that's somebody's business. Everybody's without electricity. Uh, he's at the police station now. Mm -hmm. He's thinking, what have I done? Uh, he knows he's close. He might be sitting there saying his final prayers. Yeah. Yeah. He's regretting his, his decisions the last few days. Oh, oh my God. Sheriff, just run. Get as far away as you can. Go say sorry. Say I apologize. Oh, now be careful, Rambo, because he's on the roof. He knows he's on the roof. He saw the ladder. Oh! Worst mistake of his life. That's right. Rainbow's like, I've spared you once already. Remember, she had him at he the tree. He warned him. Go ahead. Go ahead. Go ahead, you crazy son of a bitch! Finish. Rambo! Rambo, don't do it! Listen to me, Rambo. You have no chance. Drop your weapon. I'm gonna order the chopper in and fly you back to Bragg. Hold your fire! Kurt! Hold your fire! Hold your fire! Hold your fire! Hold your fire! Think about what you're doing. He's still gonna try to shoot his way out. Still gonna try. The building's perimeter's covered. No exit. Oh, man. Five M16s. You did everything to make this private war happen. Yeah, it was a private war. 
This mission is over, understand me. This mission is over. Look at him out there. Golly, all them for one man. Cost a ruckus. You don't end this now, let the Jillian. Is that what you want? It's over, Johnny. Then I come back to the world and I see all those maggots at the airport protesting me, spitting. Mm. As a vile crap. Who are they to protest me, huh? Poor guy. It was a bad time for everyone, Rambo. It's all in the past now. For you! For me, civilian life is nothing. I could drive a tank. I was in charge of million dollar equipment. Back here, I can't even hold the job. Fucking guys! Ah, uh, that's sad, man. Oh, just so good. Where's everybody? God, so that's a sad reality for so many vets. What is Black Hat Bay? And I took one of those magic markers and I said it found. He mailed us to Las Vegas because we're always talking about Vegas and this fucking car. This is a red 58 Chevy convertible. This is family. Bruce to the tires fall off. Who in this bar and said, guys? And this kid comes up. This kid going to see you shine by. And he says, uh, shine, please. I said, no. And he kept asking, yeah. And Joey said, yeah. I went to get a couple of beers. The box is wired. And he opened up the box. Fucking blew his body all over the place. Oh, they sent a kid to do it. He's screaming his pieces of him. Like this. And I'm trying to pull him off, you know. And it's he's got blood and everything. And I'm trying to hold him together. I put him in. Oh. I keep coming out and nobody would help. Oh. I want to go home. I want to go home. We keep going back there. I want to go home, Johnny. I want to drop my Chevy. I'm doing what? Oh. Leg. I can't find your leg. I can't get in the head. I've been doing this seven years. Every day it happens. Sometimes I wake up and I'll talk to you. Sometimes a day. <laughs> <laughs> he just needs somebody. I think that's what he was going to do when he came back to see his friend. It's a oh my gosh. My heart was not ready for that ending. <sighs> Looks like we're just stopping here on this photo still. It's a real war. The thing is, is like the story, it was so interesting. Um, the fighting, the explosions, you know, his how witty, he, how quick he thought on his feet. And, you know, everything he was able to endure and survive. But then at the end of it, everything I felt like was overshadowed by this heavy feeling of like, oh. of our, our, the mental health of our veterans. Right. It's such an important topic and it's one that as in America, it's really not taken seriously It's one that goes overshadowed. For everything that we have, for everything mm. that we are, we owe it to these men and women sure. and then they come back and, and they're suffering for everything they had to endure to protect us. And there's not much there to help them. Not there's not much there to help them. They should be treated like here and get home. There should be right. they should have homes. And, they should have all and this. And that's, and that's the why thing. that's one thing that started this movie. And then finishing this movie, it, it's honestly what sits on me the most. That's the thing that makes me the most angry. Is you know obviously especially Vietnam. They're talking about how how yeah. bad they were treated. Like ninety percent of us out here could not go and do the sit through the conditions and see the things that they had seen. So it's like I have so much sympathy for it. And then. To come back into a world where he said, like, there's no honor. There's no code of honor here. Like he, he, he said, there I had brothers. I had friends. Yeah. Guys who watched my back. Here, I have nobody. He said, sometimes I go days, weeks without talking to anybody. And it's right there at the end where he kind of just pulled him in. He, did, he just he needed a shoulder to cry on. He needed someone to talk to. And like you said, it's, that just covers the, you know, the mental health that so many of our amazing soldiers go through. And guys, we can't thank y'all enough. We have family who served. We appreciate you guys for for everything y'all y'all have done to keep us safe here. And then can we talk about Sylvester Stallone that final scene? My he was better goodness, in, oh, he dang, was. Dang, I don't know. The, the, it, it, was, was, it was a good scene. It though. was so incredibly heart wrenching the way he connected to that feeling and was made. It, he was able to convey it to us of what that feels mm. like as a veteran to come back into this world. Everything he spoke, everything he said. Oh my gosh, it was so compelling. And he was so passionate and emotional. That final scene right there. 
It was amazing. Yeah, I was not ready for that final scene. And just how tactically he was, sneaking around the town, turning the lights out. Like, that was crazy. Oh, it was crazy. And then even during the movie, all the traps he set, how smart he was. It was this was, this was such a cool movie. Like I said, I just wasn't ready for that. That sad, sad Thought ending. you were just going to get some action. Like, I, I was wondering. I didn't know how it was going to end. I was kind of wondering how we were going to go about to, like, if he was going to get away. But just the power of that last five to eight minutes was absolutely amazing. So thank you guys so much for that suggestion. Do we get, you said there's a Rambo I think there's two, two. Rambo three. So, so. I'm, I'm, I'm assuming that we're going to continue the story and find out what happens. Like, I'm hoping, I'm hoping, I don't, I don't know how the justice system works. But I'm hoping that he is granted leniency considering right. who what he's done for the country. And the man was just walking down the street. I mean, he was provoked. He didn't do anything. So I'm wondering how this goes from here. I, I really hope for some justice for yeah, him. I hope. I, I don't know how it's going to come after I that. I bet that sheriff is thinking, why in the world did I stop that man? He after, thought that like, After five all that. Into the movie. Yeah, no <laughs> doubt. But guys, thank y'all so much. As we always send you out of here, we love you. We thank you. We appreciate you. And remember every single day that y'all wake up, it is a blessing and that you are blessed. And for your new family members, to hit that subscribe button down below. We welcome y'all to the RSR family, but y'all have a goal every day, just like we do. Let them know, Mom. Let's just go out in this world and make somebody smile. We love y'all. Till next time, we'll see you guys later.